Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels. I hope everyone is having a good day today. It is Monday. It's a busy day for us at school, but I thought I'd come on. I was um, hoping to sell some of my sterling from my last video, but that really didn't happen. So what I'm going to do today is I have, let's see, a couple, one, two, three, four or so new pieces. I still didn't get that little grouping that I was supposed to get. There's like seven pieces in it, so one, two, happy, but that's okay. I did talk to them, and they said that I should get them tomorrow. But anyway, we'll um, deal with that, but that's okay. Um... What I'm going to do is go back through, kind of reprice things. Um, if anyone is requesting anything from the video I posted last, my last video, I hope that um, everybody will watch this video also. You know, watch it all the way through if you can. Just see if there's something there that you might prefer now that it has been priced a little better. So, um, you know, there's nothing I can do about the prices that are, you know, that I have to purchase the sterling from. So I do apologize if some of these prices are a little higher. But most of these things I do look at and price from um, either how I purchased them or what they are selling for on a barrage of different entities as far as um, the reselling platforms. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. You might hear the dogs bark. I'm sorry about it, but when the kids come back, they're going to the grocery store. When they come back, I have a feeling the dog's going to freak out. So hopefully it won't be too loud. So if you could please give me a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. Um, I think that I explained pretty well yesterday um, how to uh, join my channel. I did have someone email me. All you have to do is email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. Um, you'll just have to give me your full name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. And as soon as I get that, I you know you can you can start purchasing. So what I'll do is you pick a couple things, give me the timestamp, email me and give me the timestamp of the item. Make sure you check the sold list that will be in the comments below the video first to make sure that I still it is still available. And I will reply to you and let you know it's it is available. With Sterling, I usually invoice immediately in the evening. And it needs to be paid within 24 hours. Most people pay me that night, which I don't want to put my foot down and say it has to be paid immediately. Sometimes that's just not possible. So I just um, pay it as soon as possible. I will get it shipped out the very next day. I am I do not hold packages. I just don't like to do that. It gets too confusing. So once all that's done, you'll be able to purchase and I'll send you an invoice via PayPal, and then um, as soon as it's paid, I will package, um, print out a label, and get it shipped out to you. So if you have any more questions, just email me, please. Okay, let's get started. Okay, these rings I had yesterday, this is a new ring. This is a very substantial ring, but it is poured. So it is hollow. So it's not super heavy on your finger. Um, I'm hoping my lighting is good. I'm hoping the volume is good. I'm trying my best not to mumble. Um, so for this rosebud, we're going to break this one down. I cannot remember exactly how much I had on it, but I'm going to put 30 on it. I'm hoping it's a little less than what I had. If not, um, $30, I think, is a fair price. It's brand new. It has not been cleaned. 
as far as writing on the inside, there was, let me look. I'm going to try to do these pretty quick. So, I think it just said, um, I think it's just 925. Let me check in the light here. That's all I see. 925. Oh, no, that's just the hammering. Sometimes that'll just look like a mark. Nope, all I see on this one is 925. Okay, so it is not like, doesn't have a maker's mark. But it's very pretty. It is detailed. Let's see here. If I can get it. There we go. And it's very pretty. I think this would get very white if you buffed it with a cloth. Okay, I don't think I would put this down in the solution because of the holes from where it was um, poured. Okay, all righty, we'll do 30 on that one. And I think this one was an eight, let's see. Yes, eight and a half. There we go. The wind is a blowing. Okay, so I'll put that over to the side. And I'm going to try to be quieter. Okay, next let's do this. This enamel ring is just gorgeous. We did test it. It is a, not a stone. It's just a like a, a glass, a faceted piece of glass with your beautiful enameling there. has a very nice um, bell on the back. It's beautiful. It's not a bell. Not pretty. I like it. To me, it looks Egyptian. To some people, it might not, but I thought it did. Okay, so this is a size nine. It's beautiful. And then it does have faceting around the flat. It has a flat face, but fasting around the edge of it edges of the oval very pretty so I think I'm gonna do 28 on that one I'm not sure if I had more or not on that but like I said I'm trying my best here okay this next one these are diamonds I did test the diamonds it took forever but those are um, diamonds right there in the center and all around, even in the these little areas here. It's just hard to test them. Um, those are like a citrine colored diamond or a golden diamond. And then those are darker colored. I wish I could get this too. There we go. A little better. This one, isn't that beautiful? I know what I paid for it, but that's okay. Um, I am reselling it. So this one is right at a seven and a half. Little, yeah, right at seven and a half, honestly. Very, very pretty. Kind of a deep, deep blue, almost black stone. Um, diamonds around here and then the clearer ones and then the golden yellow so this is all diamonds I've had this up as high as a hundred um, I paid over a hundred for this so I'm gonna sell this today for 65 seven and a half it's beautiful and these are prong set. The four in the center. Isn't that pretty? This would do good with a cleaning with some Dawn and some warm water. I would not mess with those stones. It's not good for them because it, it pulls the prongs. Okay, next we have a new one. I'm so proud of it. It's so pretty. 
This is a signature ring from Pandora. It actually says Pandora. And those are little, um, really beautiful crystals. I don't know how they're coming. But this ring is precious. I just got this one today. Um, this is the one that was supposed to come with like nine other pieces. But I only got two. <laughs> but this thing is gorgeous. Pandora, of course, is on the front. It's all open work. There. And, of course, it's marked there. I'm going to read it to you real quick here. It says S925ALE, which is Pandora. And ALE, yeah, I think that's it. I told you they were going to stop working. Wow. And then there's a number five. Yeah, I'm not sure. So these are all over the place as far as pricing. So I think a fair price on this, it, it looks very, very nice. But I think a fair price on this would be 42, okay? Because if I go any higher, people are gonna be like, gosh, that's hot, you know, but um, the pricing goes all the way up to $80, even maybe even a little bit more. So this is a seven and a half. I'm just trying to, isn't that pretty? And like I said, it's called the Pandora Signature and then um, Cluster. Okay, so that was the one I got today that was new. Okay, let's do a couple pendants. These are sterling. These are, I don't know if these are peridot or not, but I bet you they are. They're a beautiful color. Moonstone with a huge flash. Gorgeous pieces of moonstone. 925 right there. Right in the center, as you can see. You can see the flash from the back. That beautiful flash from the front. It is approximately, it's about an inch and a half, maybe just a tiny bit more. There we go. Now I've got it honed in a little bit better, don't I? Okay, I think um, we'll just assume this is Peridot, because I think it is, if I remember right. And um, I'm, and this is good for like a torque omega um chain any type of chain that you want to put it on and i think i'm going to put for this one i'm gonna put 42 because you've got the beautiful moonstones and the um stones here that i'm positive are peridot isn't that pretty I'll set that over to the side. I haven't shown these. These are new. Okay, I have this moonstone that I, ooh, I love it. Look at that. Isn't that darling? It's like a little sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> okay, so then we have, let's see if it's written. Come on. You can see the flash from the back. Wait a minute, let me see if I can show it to you. Yep, there it is. 925 on the back. Look at that. Yeah, it's really pretty. There it is. This is approximately an inch, a little over an inch. Um, yeah, she's, she's beautiful. So I'm going to put 32 on her. Solo sterling. Very cute. Bezel set. Cabochon. Flashy. Very pretty. Just a really pretty design. 
Put those over there. They're kind of messing with the um, the view. Okay, now I have two Diamondique rings. They are QVC Diamondique. This one here, this one here, I absolutely adore. I do not mind keeping. Let me see. I paid quite a bit for these. Um, they are not inexpensive. This one here is marked. If I can see it. It's so hard to see with this daggone light. This one is. Oh, yeah. 925CZ Mylor. This is Mylor Italy. Beautiful company. Gorgeous. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm mumbling. I'm mumbling to myself. This beauty, I think we'll put 60. Okay, but it does have a stone here. Come on, let's let's focus, dude. There we go. The baguettes. There's a stone here. There's a stone there. Mylor Sterling 925 is fabulous. Sterling. So we'll do 60 on this one. This is a bigger ring. And I did that on purpose because I like to have a larger size for a lot of people so they can wear it on different rings. It's nine and a half. And I will be taking a $25 hit <laughs> on this one. Okay? But that's my choice. That was my choice to um, buy it at that price. Okay? Beautiful. Baguettes and a large center stone. Come on. So we'll put 60 on that one. And then we have this gorgeous ring. Absolutely gorgeous. It's probably closer to a nine and three quarters. This is also a QVC ring, Diamondique stones, sterling silver, fabulous. They come in box and bag. Okay, they come in box and bag. So if you purchase these, you'll get the box and the bag. Okay. So I'll give you a measurement real quick. It is. Yeah, it's right at nine and a half. It's very pretty. Yeah, this thing is gorgeous. Isn't that nice? Okay. So I think, let's see what it says on the inside also. You know, they're different rings by different companies that QVC sells. Judith Ripka, it just, just a lot of different ones. Come on, so hard to read. Um, CZ925 with an E, and then, what's that say? Hmm, it says something, but I can't read it. Then, Venetian, the, something. But yeah, this thing is gorgeous. Nine and a half. Let's put let's put sixty five on this one. Okay. Put that over to the side. Okay, I've got more coming. Um, these these earrings just sold today, so they will be processed in the box and packaged up and ready to go. Those are gorgeous. It's 
got its own little wiper layer. So that one's gone. The, that set is gone. They just emailed me a little bit ago. Okay, so I'm going to set these out so we don't spend all night doing this again. Yeah, I was having trouble with my phone, my iPad, everything yesterday. Everything was uh, a hot mess. There's that. I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. This is an agate. Probably or orbicular or yeah. Or an orca agate. This has a cabochon. This is glass. It's not a stone. Just glass. But this is gorgeous. It has a nice bail up here. Yeah, I was talking about that ring. It was a <laughs> I kept saying that the band was a bail. Yeah, that's what happens when you get up at five and work all day and come home. So this has a popcorn chain. This is Silpata all day long. This is so pretty. See the Silpata mark there. Um, there's that, it's so pretty. It's just neat, you know? And it comes down. To the clasp, 925. Just beautiful set. Sopata with this. And I think on the agate, I'm trying to think in my head what I had on it. For the agate, I'm going to put 20. Let's see. It's got the chain. I put the chain on it. We'll do 26 on the agate, okay? The Sopata, I've already looked up and priced. But I think we're going to do, um, on the Sopata, I'm going to do 30 on this one. Okay. And these chains here, this is a longer one. Yeah, that's 18. Eh, no, it's not. 17 inches, guys, on the Sopata. This brand new box chain on the Agate is right at 16 inches. This here is a light blue, a beautiful blue topaz. It was tested in front of you guys yesterday. What was that, Saturday or something? Yeah, last video. That's the back. I have not cleaned this. This could be cleaned. Okay. It has an older 925 sterling um, Illy 925 chain on it with a spring ring. Very nice. And it is 18 inches, a little over 18 inches. And, hold on here. And this one, I think this one is a true topaz, but it has plate, it's a plated piece here. And I think I found that out yesterday after the video. This one here, I'm going to sell for 12 because this is not true sterling. Yeah, I was checking that out after the video. But it is true topaz. And it is a true chain, a true um, vintage Italian chain. Okay, next we have another Silpata. Yeah, you guys have to really be careful and check things because if not, yeah, it's not good. So here we have Silpata on it like a link, um, linked liquid silver chain here. There is the 925. I do believe it's on here. No, where's it at? Oh, here it is, guys. Bigger than I'll get out. Sopata mark there, 925. This is uh, Goldstone. 
and sterling. It's just cute as a button. It's got this little kind of like a, almost like a shield here with a little gold stone hanging off of it. It's very pretty. So this one is almost 16 inches, and I think we will put, let's put 26 on this one. Okay. Yeah, this one had me flipping out because it is um, topaz. Okay, so you just never know. Oh, we have another Silpata. This is that beauty. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. This textural, tribal looking pendant that is big. Let's move these. It is big. It is approximately an inch and three quarters, kind of both sides, long ways and short ways. You have this beautiful banded agate. And I do mean beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. I'm going to show you the um, clasp here. There's that. Is that the one that I'll show you the clasp here? There's the Silpata mark right there. Okay. And it is approximately almost 18 inches of gorgeousness. You have a little bit of an extender, a sterling's right there. And these beautiful beads. Very, very well made. Come on, straighten up. I want you guys to be able to see it. It's so pretty. Let's see. Let's go back out. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So for this silpata, I'm going to put 32. Just because it's so gorgeous. Okay, next. I have a solution. <laughs> okay, remember the craziness with the fish? Well, I took them off. So this is just a solid sterling hoop. And this could be turned into anything you want it turned into. These are sterling also. They do not catch. Yes, that, that, um, if nobody heard what I was saying, this one, as I was putting it away, it was right by the magnet and it stuck to the magnet. I was like, no, it did not. So this is true to topaz and not real sterling. So I put $12 on that, guys. Okay. The, um, chain is probably worth more than that because it's vintage and it is sterling. Okay. So I took the fishies off. There are no more fishies, so there's no more problems with the fish. But these are cool because, if you'd like to, you could wire wrap, hang, um, put snap on some <laughs> something, some stone, some anything you want to on these, or just wear them as is. So I'm going to put, I don't know, 12 on these. Yeah, we'll put 12 on these. And if nothing else, I'll, I'll keep them and fix them. But I have friends that do purchase things for me and make things. And these are perfect. These rings are solid. So you have to attach something that opens to these, okay? So what we could do is put two different charms. I had thought about doing that, but I think I'm going to give you guys a chance. Because I've got a bunch of charms I haven't put on charm bracelets yet. So we put a different charm on each in, inside of the hoop and be cool. Yeah, that would be neat. So we'll do 12 on those. These are actually approximately mm, an inch and a half. So they're not huge, but they're big and pretty. Okay, we'll do 12 on those. This little guy here is missing two stones. 
where is it at? Right here. I don't feel any missing there. Let me check. No. So these are just little CZs. And then the blue, it is a bypass, but it does it's not a true because it does not there's no disconnect. So let me give you a size on this real quick. And I'm gonna do this one for a fabulous price. This is a seven and a half. Very pretty. Just cute. And I'll do this for no, 12. Yeah, we'll do that for 12. Okay, I have the leaf ring. And it's like a, I, I'm pretty sure this was a, like a smoky tourmaline. Very pretty, beautiful brown. Yes, it was a tourmaline, because I remember. That is the back of the stone. It's gorgeous, faceted. This is not, um. This is just the design of the ring. It is not um, adjustable. But this is a pretty big ring. This is right at a nine. And look at the leaves, they're so pretty. So I don't remember what I had on this one. So let's put, let's see, not pretty. Let's put, um, Let me see if you guys can see it better. There we go. So let uh, this is a deep smoky tourmaline. Let's put um, brown. Let's put thirty five on this one. Okay. Nice and big. Okay. Now I do have this pretty. I have the elephant, and I think, what was the stone on this one? Dang, going up, I can't remember. Um, let's see, we are at 30 minutes. This stone, I think didn't go all the way to Topaz, but it's definitely a stone. This is the elephant. Very pretty. I don't remember if it went to Iolight. And I hate to have to plug this in and wait. That's the only thing about the Presidium is you have to wait on them. So we will test this. Let me give you a measurement real quick. I'm not doing all my jewelry tonight. I've already done them. This is another seven and a half. Kind of unusual. Very pretty. So let's test his stone real quick here. And just give me a second. Oh, goodness. Give me just a second. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you. Ah, it was perfect timing. Okay, so this one, this one is going, no, this one's, <laughs> this one's in the topaz region. I'm so sorry. So this is topaz, light blue topaz. Very, very pretty. Um, The elephant ring. Let me read it. Let me see what it says real quick, guys. This one is 925. It's just so stinking cute. Oh, it's that JJ. It's like a, a upside down J and a right side up J. I have no idea. I know that's a maker mark. It's very cool. I don't know if I can get you guys to see it. I would love for you guys to see it. I'm not sure where it's at now. Oh, gosh. That's what I get for trying. You have to have the camera close enough to... No, I don't think it's going to work today. Let me see something. Let 
That's a tough one. I think it's right there, honestly. Let's see. No, it's not going to do it. Dang on it. It was like right there. But anyway, it is too bad. It's an elephant. <laughs> it's got a trunk up. Let's do... Do twenty. Let's do twenty eight on it. Twenty eight. Okay. All right. Let's pan out. Nope, that's panning in. Woo. Okay. Now I have something special here. Okay. This is a simulated tourmaline. It's pink. It, um, I don't know if it's sterling or not. I don't think so. I don't have time to test it today. Look how pretty that pink is. It's so pretty for Easter. Okay. It says it's 925, but I don't know. Does it stick? It doesn't stick, so I have a feeling it's plated. Okay. So, this is something. It's right at almost seven and a half it's probably closer to seven and a quarter okay this won't fit you maybe it'll fit somebody you know because this goes with this ring this ring is absolutely spectacular this ring is marked 0.925 au so what that means is it is 0.925 is the UK mark for 925, and the AU means gold. It is the um, mark for the composition of gold. So, this is probably gold-plated sterling, white gold-plated sterling. Let's see. Now, this is stuff like I want you guys to be able to see, but I think it's really hard to try. Sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can do it. I'm going to push this back because you know what size that bracelet is now. It should be right here. Yeah, it's right there if I can get it to focus. Okay. Nope. It's not going to do it. Man. I'm going to bring it down. Let's see. Yeah, it's right in there. But it's not going to do it kind of shocked it was doing so good before hmm anyway so this is AU925 these are beautiful CZs in that gorgeous kind of a pastel egg shape plus the pastel egg colors Makes me mad you can't see it. But this is like the most luxurious band. And look at that up under here. Man, is that gorgeous. But I, yeah, you can tell it's got some type of a, like a um, gold over, white gold over sterling. It's just gorgeous. This ring is a size... Seven and a quarter. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And along with this comes this. 
that beautiful? It matches the pink. So for this set, this is not counting, you know. For this, it's 55, okay? And it comes with that. So I thought you guys would get a kick out of that one. That is just gorgeous. Okay, I've only got a couple pieces left to show. And I'll get off of here. I'm hoping this will go over better than the one before. We have one, two, which is a just a gorgeous, and I'm sure vintage piece. Three, just a little sweet. And this darling piece here. And it is sterling. The little beads. Isn't that pretty? You have a um, toggle here. This is a jump ring. I mean, spring ring. Jump ring. This is a beautiful S ring there. And this is a lobster. This was an anklet. And I just took the little pieces off the end. Okay? Because nobody was seeming to like it. This is gorgeous. Okay, and that is sterling also. So we have the toggle beaded at almost seven and a half. It's probably right at seven, between seven and a quarter and seven and a half. And we'll do 24 on that one. This one is just another um, nice, it needs cleaned, nice thinner rope. Very similar to this one, just a little bit even smaller. I'll show you what it looks like compared to those. Okay, so it's definitely a rope. It's just a more pulled out rope <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. This one is right at six and three quarters and I'll put 16 on that one okay this one, I'm gonna do that one last this one is very pretty you have little crystals in there and the sterling beads very nice lobster here and it is right at with the clasp, it is right at seven and three quarters. With the extender, it could go up to eight, okay? And you could even go to almost a seven if you clasped it right here, right there. So this beauty, we will put, let's put 24 on that one. It's gorgeous. The Fleur de Lis is a vintage piece. It is like a medallion. This one has been etched. Love, Mom. Has the beautiful, like, vintage touch with the kind of a rope look here. Very sturdy piece. Very lovely. This one is right at... Let me get that up there. This is right at seven inches. Let's see. Yeah, I do believe this is right at a little past seven. And this one's going to be a little bit more. It's a little bit heavier. So this one's going to be 34. Okay. So I think these pieces here... I'm going to wait. I do have a few nice little pendants. I'll save those for when I get, um, hopefully I'll get my other jewelry tomorrow. And I'll show, and um, the lapis is, I still have the lapis lazuli heart. I still have all four of the spinners. I think the spinners I will reduce to $10 a piece. So if you'd like to um, purchase one of these, let me know. 
These are just darling. I'll show them to you real quick. These are about an eight and a half, almost a nine. Let me get these on my fingers real quick. They're so cute. They're sterling plated. They are adjustable. And we'll do $10 a piece on these. There's a pink. There's a deep green. There is another green here, but it's a little bit lighter. See, you can kind of tell. And then we have the flower, more flower bud, flower petals. A little bit of CZ in there. So these are just too cute. So these are $10 a piece. They will go up to probably right at a nine. I'll show you real quick. They're all like the same. Almost a nine. I haven't really pulled it out all the way. Still has more room there. Okay. So we'll put 10 on those. I think they were, I had them at 15. Um, the lapis heart. I think I'll do it for 12. But it's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Okay. And then the rest of the pendants. Um, if you see any of the pendants that, that I had yesterday and you'd like one, let me know and I'll take a few dollars off. There is these here. There are these here. And the little girl. The little cheerleader. There's the Jerusalem cross. I'll come down on that a little bit. And this, and the foiled, the sterling foiled, beautiful resin flower. And then we've got the uh, medallion, the, what I think is a rose quartz, kind of a termalated quartz, the lion. And this is not amethyst, it's just glass or CZ, purple CZ. Any of these, I'll take some money off, some dollars off. Okay? And everything else, we'll just wait and um, come back with some of these. I like to use the sterling until I sell it as a, as a group. I mean, to, re, to, to show it again because that's the only way you can get it sold is to show it again and maybe come down a couple of dollars. I don't want you guys to get bored with it, but I'm hoping you enjoyed all of this. I think my favorite is the egg. I really do. I love that. That is just gorgeous. I'll pull these up a little bit so you guys can see them. And the, you know, sopatas I love, not just for the look of them, but for the way they're made. Um, I'll pull these up real quick. And then we'll get off of here. I'll get this uploaded for you guys to see. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. Um, always check the sold list and make sure everything is good to go. And don't forget the elephant. All right, I'm going to go ahead and say good night. And you guys stay well and stay blessed. And we'll talk to you soon. Keep your fingers crossed. I get some more sterling tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye.